Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x in this nice exponential equation? From what we have here, solution we can rewrite 27 here as 3 raised to power 3. So we have 3 raised to power 3, then raised to power x, then plus also 3 raised to power 3 here, now equals to 68 from here. And when we apply the law of indices from a raised to power m raised to power n which is a raised to power m n which also can be written as a raised to power n and raised to power m it implies from here that we can interchange this power and this becomes 3 raised to power x then raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power x equals to 68 from here then we have 3 raised to power hex common. So let the letter m here represent 3 raised to power hex. Then this equation now becomes m cube plus m equals to 68. Then let's take 68 to this side. And we have m cube plus m minus 68 now equals to zero from here and here we can factor 68 as 17 times 4 and also plus m here can be written as minus 16 m plus 17 m that is here this equation now can be written as m cube minus 16 m plus 17 m then minus 68 which is equals to 0 from here then grouping this together to 2 here we have m common and we have m square minus 16 left then plus here 17 common we have m minus 4 left which is equals to 0 from here and what we have here now, 16 same thing as 4 squared. That is here, this becomes m into bracket m square minus 4 square, then plus 17 into bracket m minus 4 equals to 0 from here. And from what we have now, here follows from a square minus b square which is a plus b times a minus b that is here this becomes m into bracket m plus 4 then also open bracket m minus 4 then plus 17 into bracket m minus 4 which is equals to 0 from here and from what we have m minus 4 is common so we factor that out m minus 4 then into bracket m into bracket m plus 4 left here then plus 17 left here plus bracket equals to 0 then we can simplify this and m we open this bracket and we have m minus 4 here then into bracket this becomes m square plus 4m plus 17 here close bracket equals to 0 then from here we have two cases which are m minus 4 equals to 0 or m square plus 4m plus 17 equals to 0 that is taking minus 4 here become plus and here we have m equals to 4 then from this side we can check if there will be a resolution. This is a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c a equals to 17. And from the discriminants which we have as b square equals to b square minus 4 ac. And uh, if this is less than 0, it implies no resolution. Then here we have 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 17 that is from here 
four square that's 60 then minus 4 then 17 that's 68 and 60 minus 68 this is minus 52 which is less than zero and here on this side it implies we have no re solution here then from the other side here where m equals to 4 we should recall that we represent m as 3 raised to power hex which implies that here 3 raised to power hex is now equals to 4. now let's take the log on both sides then here we have log 3 raised to power hex equals to log 4 then here the power of x here following the power law of logarithm log m raised to power p this gives us p log m then x here is the power which implies we have x log 3 equals to log 4 then we can divide through by log 3 here so we divide this side by log 3 and this side by log 3 and here log 3 cancel out which implies we have x now equals to log 4 which can be written as 2 square then over log 3 from here and also from the power law of log logarithm, 2 here is the power can come here and we have x now equals to 2 log 2 then over log 3 that is here we can separate this and this can be written as x equals to 2 times log 2 over log 3 and from change of this when we have log a over log b here this same thing as log a to base b that is here we have x equals to 2 multiply by log 2 to base 3 so here we have the solution to this problem as x equals to 2 log 2 to base 3 and also here let's check if this satisfies the given problem putting the value of x here now which is 2 times log 2 base 3 2 log 2 base 3 here yeah. with this be equals to 68 then we have 27 now uh, raised to power 2 log 2 to base 3 then plus 3 raised to power 2 log 2 to base 3 is equals to 68 from here then here yeah, we can equally reverse this power law and this becomes 27 raised to power log 2 square is 3 plus now here as well 3 raised to power log 2 square is 3 is equals to 68 from here then this is same thing as 27 here raised to power log 2 squared as 4 base 3 plus here also we have 3 raised to power log 4 base 3 is equal to 68 and also here we can rewrite 27 as 3 raised to power 3 so we have 3 raised to power 3 then which is raised to power log 4 base 3 then plus here we have 3 raised to power log 4 base 3 is equals to 68 that is here we reverse the power law again we have 3 raised to power log 4 raised to power 3 base 3 plus 3 raised to power log 4 raised 4 base 3 is equals to 68 then from the law of log reading when we have a raised to power log 
b base a which is same thing as b it implies from here that this is same thing as 4 raised to power 3 plus here 4 is it equals to 68 here then 4 raised to power 3 is 4 multiplied itself 3 times which is 64 then plus 4 is it equals to 68 then 64 plus 4 that's 68 which is equals to 68 now the left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence from here we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now